This is where I normally stay. This is with my wife and I's closest friends. Just pretty much, I just sleep here. I train so much. This is where I come and lay my head down. Being here is obviously super comfortable. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine a place that's more comfortable while I'm training. The distractions for my career not being there are obviously really good. I can just focus on being a fighter and training and um, trying to be the best me I can be. But on the flip side of that, that means my kids aren't getting that time. It means that I'm not with them. There's a lot of lonely nights in that bedroom. Hi, Daddy. What's up, Hi, fools? Hi. What'd you do at school today? I'm, I got a library book. Go get it. You're going to go get it? What'd you do? We did, like, a, some math pages today. Nice. You know, what's the other option? You know, it's the stay home and spend as much time with them as I can and then not be as successful, maybe, and not be able to provide as much for them. I think that's the sacrifice that us as fathers have to make. <laughs> All right, I, I will call you before you go to bed, OK? OK. Love you. Love you. Badly, love I said I love you. Love you. I love you. Bye. Hey, push Bye, the button. Daddy, love you. I'm gonna hang up on you, okay? Okay, push the button. <laughs> 2017 was rough for me. Going into that contender fight, I put everything in the camp, the best I've ever felt. Everything was on point. Fight! Bell rings, 15 seconds later, and I'm looking up at Jason Herzog, like, why are you in my face right now? Oh, wow, he's hurt, and that is it. Wow. Wow. I end up stuck in bed for about two weeks. My wife had to take care of me. I didn't want to move. I didn't want to live. I felt like a failure. I don't want my kids to see me like that. One of the lowest points I was at. I almost didn't make it through. I almost took my own life. My mom was like, you might need to go talk to Lil Ryan. Like, he's worried about you. I went, took him walking down the street. And he asked me, who's your favorite superhero? And I was like, Son, I don't know. He was like, isn't that Superman? That's what people call you. Then he asked me if I'm going to fight again. And I was like, son, honestly, I don't know. I don't think so. And he said, I think you should fight again. You should fight again. And you should do more better. And like, I just started laughing, you know. <laughs> and I was like, OK, son, for you, I'll do it. And from there, that's when it started. It just started murking people. At this point, I'm not in one in my last 10 because of that conversation I had with my son. And now here I am about to be able to get my wife a house. Soon after, get my mom a house. Like, now I'm just starting to see it. And that's why I know something special is about to happen because I can't let, I can't let him take this from me. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.